YouTube. So February is upon us, and as you will all know by now, because you see it bombarded in your face every time you go into a store, and probably in all your emails lists too, Valentine's Day is coming up. So I understand, I'm going to put out big disclaimers first, I totally understand that some people do not like Valentine's Day. They prefer to celebrate on Valentine's Day because they've been hurt in the past. Or they think that Valentine's Day is a day only for couples or a day only for gift giving. This is not necessarily truth. I mean, of course, love your partner, but also love your dog, love your mom, love your friends. It's a chance to just tell the people around you just how much you do love them. So I decided to put together this little holiday gift guide. Um, but it's like a Valentine's Day gift guide, I guess, not holiday gift guide. I don't know what's going on. Put together this holiday, or Valentine's Day gift guide so that all of you guys still struggling on what to buy for your friend or even your partner can look at this and stress less. So as you'll notice, I don't have a lot of, say, the cheesy hearts and smiley faces and chocolates and flowers because... Those things are pretty easy to pick up. I mean, go into a florist and look at your favorites. I mean, there's not a lot that I can do to help you with that. So, but I thought that I would give you some sort of quirky, more kind of out there gift ideas if you're not that much of a traditionalist. So let's get started. Um, this gift guide is going to be focused on all the wonderful femmes and women in your life. Um, if you are looking for Valentine's Day gifts for guys, um, I have a couple ideas, but not necessarily enough to put together a gift guide. So if you guys have suggestions and we want to put them all together or something, that would be cool. But anyways, um, so the first item that I have is just an example of something you could get. This one is pink, but it doesn't have to be a pink item. It's just something quirky, like a quirky little accessory. Whether you want to get like a tiny hat or a scarf or a piece of jewelry. Something quirky, not necessarily too romantic, but just sort of like a fun, I think this is a thing you would like. These don't have to be too expensive. I think I bought this one for about 8 or $9 at a local boutique. You can get jewelry for like $10 or $100. Like they really can fit into your, and scarves can be $5 or $50, right? So you, they really can fit into any budget and they're just, cute accessories that the person is going to actually wear again, right? So just one of my favorite things is just buy a gift, whether it relates to Valentine's Day or not, and then just pair it with a cute card. So my the next thing is something that I picked up. I really like lotions, especially as we're still in winter here. This one that I chose is the OPI Avo Juice in Ginger Lily. And at my... At one of my local um, salons, you can actually like buy two OPI nail polishes and get a lotion for free. So that's cute. Um, you can, and that gives you lots of ideas. If you want to buy nail polish for somebody, you could say go get two OPI nail polishes for somebody and you get yourself a lotion. Or get two, like a nail polish for somebody and a lotion for somebody else. Or if you're buying yourself nail polishes, you can give the lotion to somebody else. It's all just sort of cute little ideas and those like buy something, get something else for free. They can be really I cute ideas or if you don't think a nail polish is a big enough item, get them a nail polish and a lotion and you just have to pay for the nail polish. So that's a cute idea and a lot of stores have that sort of discounts where it's like buy two eyeshadows, get a makeup bag for free or something like that and they can be cute ways of kind of buffing up your present a little bit or getting something for yourself and also present for somebody else. So my next idea kind of goes with my first one and that's the idea of shoes. I really like shoes and something like a cute pair of like ballet flats like these ones. I think these were only $10 and I got them from like Ardeans and these are like some cute just little like romantic shoes. So that sort of thing is a really cute idea. 
If you really decide to go gung-ho and out there, you could buy them a dress or even um, like a little gift card for some for a um, one of their favorite stores. The next thing is I said that it's one of the more traditional gifts, but I love the idea of like little beanie babies. This one I got, I believe, as, like, a birthday present or a Valentine's Day present or something from a friend, like, when I was, like, eight. But <laughs> I still have these little toys around. And I have little Beanie Babies everywhere. The end, they all have a special meaning to me. Someone gave them to me or something. And they're all super, super cute. It's just something, like, you could, like, put this in a hat. See? And look how, like, and then, like, wrap that. Just like in like some, like in, like put this up and then like wrap it in like some film or whatever. Such a cute little, this something random, right? When in doubt, chocolate is a really good idea. Um, not everyone likes chocolate. So I love those cute little candy conversation hearts. But also the idea of say like a coffee mug that comes with hot chocolates and things in it. Those things are super cute and they're, they don't have to be too expensive. You can buy things on sale at pretty much all of the stores right now. So I hope that this has kind of helped you out with a couple random little gift ideas. Basically, the most important thing is know the person you're buying for. Buy them something they're going to use and not just necessarily like a little like, I love you plaque that you can put on the wall, right? I also, I really like the idea of like picture frames that come with like pictures in them and stuff. And I actually have a really cute little like hidden message idea. So basically what you do is you get them say a picture frame. You put a picture in it and at the back you write a little note of like reasons why you love the person or just like a cute little love note fold it up and put it behind the picture in the picture frame. Then give away the picture for Valentine's Day, wrap it up, they'll open it up, they'll see the picture, they'll be like, oh yay! And hopefully they'll put it up on their wall or something. Then you can either wait for them to find the little note, just either look through, or a couple months down the road, say this is Valentine's Day, at the 4th of July or even next Christmas, be like, hey, look behind the picture. And they will have this cute little love note and it'll just be a surprise. Or give them a more recent picture and be like, hey, put this in the frame and then they'll find the cute little note. I thought that that was a really just sort of adorable little idea and it can be a lot of fun to just write reasons why you love your partner or reasons why you love your friend or any of that sort of thing. So... I'm really interested in knowing what you guys want to see around Valentine's Day. Was this video helpful? Would you like more videos like this one? Are you looking for makeup looks or nail polish tutorials? What do you want to see around Valentine's Day? Think about it. Let me know in the comments box below and I'll hopefully see you later. See you guys all on the flip side.